It's a beautiful morning here in the city of Lagos. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Off the Press on PLOS TV Africa. My name is Felicity Ezewike and I have two guests with me in the studio. Uh, still with us from uh, the news earlier, Jide Ologo, legal practitioner. Thank you very much for staying with us. You're welcome. And joining us afresh this morning is Ugochuku Ikako, political analyst. Pleasure to have your company. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll start with the Nation newspaper now. Um, Let's see what's here. Of course, the Christmas is on the front page of the Nation newspaper. The Apostolic Faith Church Orchestra during 2019 Christmas Carol at the Church. I'm talking about the picture itself. I think we should just start with some cherry news this morning before we go to other um, issues. And of course, the screamer isn't something to be smiley, smiley about. Uh, the U.S. is um, on the front page. It has to do with the religious watch list. U.S. religious watch list. Federal government can bicker over that title. It has one writer. Freedom of worship exists, says Minister Activists accuse U.S. of undue interference. And then you have several quotes from the federal government, from Christian Association of Nigeria, and from the Muslim uh, Council of Nigeria, also on the front page of the Nation newspaper. You're looking at it right now. Uh, if we can, there you see it. Uh, let's go to the top. Just above the picture, you're looking at uh, Deputy Governor, Deputy Governor Rift with Akeradolu, normal in politics. That's um, some in-house troubles there. And then at the top of the paper, ASU proposes own peril for use in varsity's recruitment process faulty. Uh, tanker drivers threaten strike over port roads. Containers must exit. Army extends operation show your ID others. Exercise to end January 7 and something there on the CBN slashing bank charges um, that put a lot of smiles on people's faces um, the, and since the news broke that the CBN has slashed the bank charges, card maintenance fees scrapped completely. I hope not to see that a lot on my phone. Let's let's kick off on that note, the CBN uh, announcement, which will, let's start with you. CBN slashes bank charges. You don't look to be smiling about it. Why? They've been debiting their money for years. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, um, it, it, isn't it a good way to end the year? Well, uh, till it happens, you know, I'm, I'm more more interested in the you know uh, the actual. Let, let's see, let's see coming to play and rest of them. It is a good move if if that happens. But uh, uh, CBN has been on the wrong side for the people this year. You know, they love uh, miscalculation. You see how the finances, the country's economy has been. You see now. Uh, and they've made some bad judgment. People wake up and start paying 15 naira for every transaction for a long time before they then went back because they saw that the policy was flawed. So um, am I excited about it? No, it's not, it's not enough to be excited. And, uh, but let's see what happens because at the end of the day, uh, sometimes what is difficult when uh, people, market people, uh, sellers, or the rest of them have factored in, factored in the 50, 50 naira and the rest of them into their sales. Asking them to go back to it might be difficult because what the government says is different from what the market says. Both are different. Both are different. Uh, different options that we we'll see. So, but let's see what happens. It's a good one. Hopefully. Did, did you share that thought? Absolutely. And I want to advise that the government should look more at the macro level. How can we empower this economy? The reduction in the charges, quite welcome. But how do we ensure that prosperity returns to the land? You know, like he insinuated, you need to go and check the inflation rate out there now. It's, I mean, at the last check, it was 11.8%. Uh, you know, and when you look at all this, the impact is that <clears throat> businesses are closing down. People are going through hardship. And I, I saw this coming. If the banks do not rise up to begin to come up with people-friendly policies, the banks may go kneeling down on the streets for depositors to come and deposit money because Both human beings their find their ways of also reacting to whatever comes their way. So where there is an action, you expect a reaction. So I think the policymakers should sit down and look at how all stakeholders can be carried along. No situation where some of the stakeholders make so much money 
impoverishing the others. I've been traumatized for years with all these deductions. You no, take every, I design, think every single person in this country so like that, I, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, that uses it's, the it's, bank it's, has it's, a similar it's, it's, experience. It's, it's crazy. All right, let's look at this big one. The U.S. Uh, religious watch list, the bickering between the federal government and uh, can. Um, I, I don't know if you saw the statement by the Minister of Information on this uh, uh, issue. What's your take on it generally? I don't waste my time with Lai Mohammed. He's not to be trusted, he's not reliable, uh, he's an ineffective government spokesperson. And I'll say it any day, any time. And uh, I, have no, I have no atom of respect for what he does because uh, <coughs> if, if you're in an exalted office and all you do is not to inform the people rightly and to do your work and not to project the country the right to, and all you think about is a, a politician and uh, trying to be a yes man for your leader, it doesn't help anybody. And if you can speak truth to power, you have you're no, you're, you're no use to me or for anybody that is, is reasonable. And having said that, the U.S. religious watch list is not new. All right, this is not the first time we're seen in this country. But uh, the fact is that we have an administration that is not quick to look inward to see what this person is saying is the truth. All right, it's, it's crazy when your own people are telling you something you're not listening. An outsider that is thousands of miles away from here is telling you the same thing you're not listening. All right, uh, in the north, Christians in the north are not having the best time of their life. All right, people have been killed under this administration for just you know for uh, saying some things over across across other places in the country, especially in the north where we know it was a volatile area. So is this happening? Uh, is, are people having is freedom of worship or freedom of expression? Is this something that is uh, that is is that is very best there? No. All right. Even as a journalist, you can't practice fully. Even as a journalist, you can say some things. Even as a media house, you can say some things. So let's let's take that aside since we're talking about you know worship and rest of them. It is not happening. It's a difficult thing, all right? Uh, if Lai Mohammed is maybe one, one of the Christians, from maybe somewhere in Zamfara or somewhere in Adamawa and the rest of them, he wouldn't be saying this, all right? The truth is that there is an atom of truth. There's a high level of truth in what they're saying. saying. In what okay. saying. So the truth is that would the government do something about it? Would they look That's about it? That's another issue Let's, entirely. What, 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 what your, your quick thought on this, before we move on to the next paper, I'm just, um, I got carried away. Time is not on friend. I'm mean, extending your impressions, show your ID and others. You remember when it came out, there was a lot of um, um, reaction against it. Your take. As of us have asked the questions, what <clears throat> device will they embark upon to even confirm the, that the IDs are authentic? And this is further going to clamp down on the freedom of the people. I know that right now the federal government is registering immigrants in this country. So if we open our borders to immigrants, when some countries are controlling the entrance of immigrants to their region, and we are now going on Operation Show Your ID, I think I'm not comfortable with having militarized democracy. So yeah. we need to look at this very well and we wish the government the best. But like I keep saying, let's work on the economy of this country and you will find a lot of issues getting resolved. But this intimidating approach in courts may not solve the problems. This day newspaper is next for review this morning. Uh, we have not an L set up committee to reconcile Ganduje Sanusi. Abdul Salami Abubakar heads 10-man team. That's uh, on the front page of this day newspaper. If you go to the top of the paper, you will see uh, the um, religious freedom tag um, that we just talked about. Um, that's actually the back page of uh, this day newspaper. Alex Oti talking about addicted to the sharing economy outside the box this morning that's um uh, for you but if we go to the front page you will see some of these story um cbn reduced bank charges to pacify customers says amifile uh, that's another one for you oil fields dixon uh or braids uh we've taken what's on the back page uh, a quick thought on this before we move on which uh, not an elder setting up committee Niger just very quick Niger thoughts. nigeria elites are the worst in the world and not only list uh, like on that list that that you, that the number one on the list of worst elites in the world. Because the truth is this: you have a Kanduji that has not done anything as a governor, that has not proven himself. What is a governor that was that was caught on camera uh, taking money and stuffing in his babariga? What have they done? What have the elites done? What have Abu Salami Abubakar and his friends done so far? 
Have they asked him to do anything in terms of reducing the mortality rate in, in, in the north, to, to reduce the VVF rate in the north, to make sure that the number of children going to school has increased? Have they done all that? No. But in the context of his relationship with Sanusi... Well, how, 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 does, how, how does that help the, help the people? How does that help the people? If guys have not done the actual work, you've not asked this guy to do his job as a leader, you're more interested in, in, in making sure that the relationship that the Sanusi and uh, his former friend had is fine. It's not about the people. It, it, has, it has never been about the people. So the elite are the problem, especially the northern elite, because they don't tell themselves the truth. There are issues in the north. Millions of people are out of school. Millions of people are displaced. Some of them are in the IDP camps. What are they doing? What are Salami doing? They're flying private jet and are trying to set, set, set people out that will be fine eventually. So it doesn't make sense. This is another avenue. Ten-man committee. They're going to spend money. They'll give them cars. They'll travel around. They'll sit in one table and drink and waste money that, that, that Carlos State does not have. They should be ashamed of themselves. All right, we'll go to the Punch newspaper. Um, there is an editorial that looks... Um something you might want to read, uh, the Buhari editorial, more points to ponder. Uh, that's the punch. Remember, they've taken to addressing him as um, a retired major general. Um, having cabals in government not wrong, says presidency. That's a new one. Having cabals in government not wrong, says presidency. Uh, you might need to not jump to conclusions. Let's read the story on page eight of the paper um, before we do. And then we, we have our guests to help us make sense of it. So sit tight. Let's just run through some of the headlines. Uh, Showare, Malami denies receiving U.S. legislators later. Uh, better to rub a stamp than fight executive. Uh, that uh, House of Representatives Speaker, with Debbie Miller, speaking this morning. And of course, the religious rights violation watch list is also on the front page. Christmas Carol captured on the front page. Tragedy as a boy man kills his two children. Uh, the CBN slashing of ATM withdrawal charges is also there. Uh, some lecturers not qualified to be in the universities. That's according to ASU. And then we have some other stories uh, on the front page of the paper, uh, suspected cyber criminals arrested with hard drugs in Lagos. Uh, that's it on the front page. More there for you that you can see. The um, uh, TRCN, the teacher qualifying examination, also on the front page. And on the back page of the punch, we have bodies and economic security. Uh, that's uh, somebody speaking on economic statecraft. All right, uh, Jide, quickly, your thoughts on any of these? Having cabals in government not wrong, says presidency, and I thank God for Shil Gaba coming up eventually to admit that there is cabal in the presidency. You know, the first lady came up with that theory, which was vehemently denied. Mm -hmm. But from the report of Shil Gaba himself, <clears throat> he claimed to have Googled the many of a cabal, you know, that true of mystic, you know, cultic and stuff like that. And if you look at how the management of this country has been going lately, then you may want to agree with me that there are some elements who are perhaps more comfortable with poverty and disunity and disorienting the governance process than putting us in line. So if he has come to this point, I think he also needs to Google more <laughs> on the points of good governance and ensure that the government he represents delivers good governance because I keep saying history is recording and the narrative can change but it depends on the will. And having said all this, we have somebody who presides over the presidency and that is the president of Nigeria that we have given the mandate to manage this country and like a pilot flying an aircraft, we need to get to the destination safely and joyously. So thank God you are coming up with this and I hope that um, we know that the essence of continuity is to improve on whatever has been delivered to you. So we Nigerians look forward to a better narrative than in what the we common, have yeah. now. In the coming year. I saw you shaking your head. Which one are you disagreeing no, it, with? It, it's, it's a cabal thing because we've been here before. On that road, we had the same issue, right? And it was, it was so, what is the cabal doing? What are they offering us? No, they're fighting among themselves. Aisha Bayoli comes out to tell us when she has issues, all right? She doesn't tell us about how she used her money to go and take care of her children abroad, fly out the president abroad, and do other, other crazy stuff with the money that we don't have, right? So what is the cabal? It goes back to what I'm saying about the elite. They are there not to help the people, right? We've seen in civilized countries, in countries across the world, we've seen when the elite or the people, maybe the people that help the presidency or work with him in some high-level capacity, they make policies, they, they do things that push the economy forward, right? But what we have are men that their IQ is not fit for a primary school, you know? 
driving our nation backward to destruction. So the Kabbals or whatever they call themselves, and for Gabba show, his tongue will be over. Very soon he become a yesterday man like Ruben Abati, and then we can answer him. Therefore now he can continue saying what he's saying, but the Kaaba, having a Kaaba, you know, dictating how this country goes, doesn't make sense for anybody. All right, let's take a look at the Vanguard. The Vanguard paper is looking very Christmassy uh, with the Christmas lights on it. Um, you can just flash it, there you have it. Uh, very Christmassy indeed. I think we should start saying Merry Christmas uh, all, all the time when we look at the papers. Uh, but the thing is, the stories are not very Christmassy, so to speak. What do we mean? Police bid to take case to Buhari as army is yet to release soldiers indicted in police IRT men's killing. Indicted captain's promotion to rank of major cancelled. Um, yes, that story needs to be, uh, we need to find a conclusion to it. Christmas Carol captured also on the front page. Uh, no scene in having a cabal, we've taken that. Uh, CBN slash electronic transfer, we've taken that. Um, Edo APC capped Tsubasaki on rejection of Lawan's peace panel. And then the teacher's examination, uh, those that passed and failed. Uh, disputed oil wells, we care inciting disunity in a jawland that Dixon speaking. Give us Leah Sharibu as our Christmas gift, not on Christian elders tell Buhari. Um, on the back page, we have sports stories. I'll just uh, get you guys to. The Wadumi, if I was told that this story will slide into the background without any conclusion, I would find that hard to believe. But then again, um, are we only a motive at the time of an event, or do we have the spirit to continue to find a conclusion to it, just like we're seeing now? You see, the Nigerian, the Nigerian people are tired. People are tired. The bag of rice in this country is how much? Transport fed from Lagos to East or from Lagos to Abuja is how much? People are sick. Some people don't have anything to eat. So, right, so they're in their own space, just trying to survive, just trying to thrive by before SARS kills them or anything happens to them. And that is, that is a sad, what I'm painting is a sad picture and that is how, what it is. And what is even worse is that you have a general, a, an army officer that killed three police officers that are working on an assignment for the government. The army and the police are here to show you how bad things are here. The army is here to give this guy to the police to try him effectively. And that is how it's supposed to be. Because what he did was, it was, it was against the law, all right? What are they doing? They've been, still, they've been doing back and forth. Now they want to take it to the presidency. Who is GCFR? This thing shouldn't be on the front page of the newspaper. But now the president, if he is a leader, I don't think he is, should be at the forefront of this. Whoever is, is at should be punished. Because what you're going to do, if you punish this person, this uh, army guy that did this, it right, starts as a deterrent. So you don't go clean your other security officials that are doing their job. What, what are they doing? This guy is still, they want to promote him. They yeah, want to it promote him. Canceled. Not yet, they've not done anything. The was cancelled to rank of major. So that they, they, they would have done that. To show, you, to show you where we are, to show you, to, to show you how things are bad. So for me, I, I see, I, I, I pity Nigerians. Like, it, my, myself, it's not easy, all right? So how many, how many things do you want to get hold of in a particular day? So it, it's difficult. Did, did you see a conclusion to this case? You know, really? crime is crime. And if you don't deal with crime, crime will deal with you. And I think we are grooming crime in Nigeria. I'm particularly checking the complicity. You know, soldiers killing policemen and setting free a kidnapper. So you now benchmark that with the fact that terrorists came to town, kidnapped Dapchi girls, returned some of them in a fanfare, collected ransom that the government denied, and withheld some, and made a claim that it withheld one because she refused to renounce her Christian faith. And we are complaining that America is putting us on a watch list. I think we need a new governance narrative. So just, just, uh, just, uh, just to add quickly, you talked about you know, we normalizing crime. Few, last week, there was a crisis in Surya, in Lagos. There was a court clash. As of this morning, I was reading the newspaper. Do you know who went to Surya to ask for their release? MC Olumo. This is the same guy that was negotiating with uh, the OPs and the rest of them on how much they would pay before they apply on Lagos Road. And we said that we're, we're pro-innovation. I say, how can you empower someone like that in a society? You see, what you are, you are sending a signal to a young boy in Okoko or in Oshodi that don't go to school, don't be like me. Because when you finish, you come on TV and be talking and until what happen, right? Because this same guy, two, three years, he start flying with governors. Tinebu is on his speed that. So what did they do? It out. He's discussing with the local government chairman to release people that we are caught causing trouble in Surrey. And it's on record that this group brings in about 4.7 billion naira monthly as revenue collected. 
within the system of Lagos State uh, government. Oh, you would say so we have a lot of things to deal with, in. really. So much to talk about as the year wraps up. We hope that we've, we have learned lessons, hopefully, uh, that will make next year better for all of us. Before I say my goodbyes to you, gentlemen, uh, let's just take a quick look at Complete Sports. Ego Igalo drops out of calf race. How he will be dazzled his way to Arsenal Academy at age eight. That's uh, a bit of history for you on the front page. There are loads of stories you can see, all sports lovers. Go get a copy of Complete Sports. And don't forget that Vanguard also have uh, sports stories on the back page for your pleasure uh, this morning. Gentlemen, Thank you very much for coming on. Thank, thank Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> and of course, uh, happy, happy holidays day. to you watching. Uh, take care of yourself. Have time with family. God bless you. My name is Felicity Ezeweke. <laughs>